Okay, so immediately after finishing our American candy video, we're launching right into trying a bunch of Japanese candy for mm -hmm. the first time. And if you haven't seen our American video, um, we'll link it below. That's like the first one of our crazy sweets of two countries trying experience. <laughs> All right. So we don't, we're probably not going to do these in much of a particular order. As usual, we don't really know anything about these. So if you do know a lot about Japanese candy and you're looking at it and going, why would you buy that? It's because we don't know anything about it at all. I picked these up because they remind me of Jello shots. And okay. I think that they're amazing. And we're going to give this a go. There's a pineapple and like tropical fruit one. I want the pineapple, but I see. Give me the yellow. I think that's probably pineapple. I think I'm going to have a is pineapple it, as well. Is it jelly or liquid? I don't know. It could be either. So it's a tiny little cup full of, of jelly. Nope. Is it all the flavours or maybe just pineapple sucks? You try another one. I'm not trying another one. They're very watery. That's weird, isn't it? You and they're them. not super easy to eat. Um, Yeah, it like reminds me of someone trying to make vodka jelly that just... We should right. add vodka to it. We'll just put them in a big bowl, add vodka, and then just put it in the fridge. Basically, we could have just put jelly. <laughs> I don't know. Those get a three from me. Then, kind of a novelty, but they didn't really taste very good, and they weren't very strong in flavour, which I kind of want from candy. They were a bit I too mild. I think we just had a lot of American sweets, which are very rich and artificial. So maybe that would be a lot nicer. It was a lot smoother. Maybe this isn't even candy. Maybe this is supposed to be like a one of your five a day. <laughs> <laughs> It just says cup jelly mini. So I guess maybe it isn't really supposed to be. Please chew thoroughly before swallowing or cut the jelly into small bite-sized pieces before eating. I swallowed mine whole. I think this next thing is the thing I'm most excited to try. I have no idea what it is. I'm hoping it's a biscuit. I'm hoping. Right. Show the packaging. It's got little mushrooms on it. But also a snowman on a stamp. <laughs> and like cottages. This really, really could be anything. I'm really excited. I'm going to open it. That's adorable. It comes in another little case. Little pictures of houses on. But what is it? Oh my god, what if it's like fish? <laughs> Actual mushrooms! No, it's not mushrooms. It's come, it smells vanilla. They are shaped like little mushrooms though. Yeah, that's what worried me. Because you don't know a Japanese candy, do you? Like, oh, that looks cool. It looks like it's chocolate on the end of a biscuit. Ah, oh, this is... Boop. It's not very good chocolate on the end of a biscuit. No, that's pretty good. Like a milkshake. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a milky, creamy chocolate on the end of like a little crispy biscuit as the stalk. No, I like those. They have a weird packaging, and I'm not sure why they're made to look like mushrooms, but... There is no English on this. No, they're pretty cool though. So I would say, I think I'm gonna give those a six. I didn't massively like the chocolate, but I kind of like the concept. I think they're Four. pretty cool. I didn't Four. like the chocolate at all. Aww. No, is it chocolate? I don't even know. Well, it's like a vanilla-y substance. It's kind of like a white chocolate more than milk chocolate. It tastes more like, um, like a creme brulee type. What should we have next? Sticking on the biscuit theme, I got another thing that I have no idea what it is. But it's a pyramid. It's a pyramid. Has it got any English on it? No. Let's have a little look. It looks like, again, another chocolate type biscuit thing. Yeah, I think it's a biscuit dipped in chocolate. Oh, there's loads in here. I thought it was just one. If it was one, that'd be a ripoff. Well, no, because you could get a bigger pack. But ah, I assume okay. one for you. One for me. Oh, it's like a little tree. Oh, you could build a little forest scene out of all the Can chocolate put the mushrooms, mushrooms in and it. all the tiny trees. There you go. Boop. Mm, I like these more. Mm. It's like a slightly darker than milk chocolate. Animals. No, it's nicer than uh, Cadbury Animals. It's like a dark chocolate with like a light biscuit centre bit. That's super descriptive, I know, but they're actually really good. I give those a 10. You give those a 10? I'm giving them an 8. I ate 4 while you were talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give them give them an 8. I got these, and this does have some English um, writing on it. These are lychee candy. I don't know if I've ever had a lychee. They're like a peeled grape. Maybe I've had a lychee. These have natural flavouring in them, so we'll give them a go. I don't know if they're going to be hard or soft. Well, they're hard. Ooh. Does it say on the front? No. just says lychee candy. I like that they're individually wrapped. I always appreciate a bit individually of individually wrapped. wrapping. Yeah. It smells pretty good. Yeah, it smells fruity. 
very refreshing. Mm. I actually think I'm preferring the Japanese candy so far compared to the American candy. I just think the flavours aren't as intense, and I quite like that. They're a lot. They feel a lot more natural, even if they probably they aren't are. naturally flavoured. They're just less overpowering. Well, they use sugar rather than corn syrup. I really like those. I think they're getting another ten out of me. Sweet and delicious. Mm -hmm. Natural and artificially flavoured. They were really good. Mm -hmm. Not a 10. So I got two 10s. See, I'm going to give them another 8. Because I like them. They're pretty good. Let's go for strawberry gummy candy. While you've got those, actually, we got a few different flavours in the same make. So we got the strawberry, the... What's a yuzu? Yuzu? It's like a fruit. Whatever that is. And then I also thought, why stop there? <laughs> I got grape, orange, apple, pineapple, and grape again. Just because, you know, why stop there? What should we start with? I think we should start with the strawberry. Yeah. We need the gummies, aren't they? They are. And they're individually wrapped. Yes. yes well done, Japan. Japan. <laughs> thank you. Here you go. Oh, thank you. For sure. So, yeah, they really like strawberry-flavoured things in Japan. So I'm hoping that they've done this one... Really quite well. It's kind of weird though, it's like a little jelly button. The flavour of the strawberry is alright. I think it's, it's whatever texture. they've they've made the jelly out of, just tastes slightly Doesn't odd. Doesn't taste like gelatin. No, I don't think it is gelatin. It'll be... It is gelatin. Is it? Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Is this, is it yuzu? Is that how you say it? I think yuzu. yuzu. Yeah. It says on the front what yuzu is. Oh. It's known for its aroma, characteristic, acidic taste, and is very popular citrus fruit in Japan. Looks a bit like a lemon. I honestly thought it was a lemon. Is it not a lemon? No, it's a yuzu. Is the yuzu not lemon? No. <laughs> okay. Same kind of oh. feel. What is that? Smells good. I like that a lot. It is very similar to lemon. But it's not quite it's like a lemon as sour. orange mix. Yeah, it's um, it's really interesting actually. I like that one a lot, and the yeah, the flavour of that one was a lot nicer than the strawberry one. I think it's a good idea that he's like just having individual packets of stuff and selling them in a big yeah. strip. I think that's a cool idea. Well, these ones aren't individually wrapped. Well, they're a smaller pack. So. Oh, and they're smaller. Oh, they are orange. No, no. that is horrible. Not a huge fan. No. Hmm. Let's try apple. Apple in the red packet. Mm. Yeah. That threw me. I was expecting like. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Tiny mm -hmm. little button. That one's good. This does smell nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm hoping the pineapple will be my favourite. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> These ones got like a little powdery coating. I guess it's stopped them sticking together. I think so. They kind of remind me in shape of midget gems, but they need like without the sugary outside. I reckon if you rolled these yes, in sugar, yes. they would be midget gems. Yes. No, they do taste like that. Ooh, this smells good. Mm, yeah, pineapple was good. Okay. Yeah. The last one to try is grape. I don't think I'm gonna like this. I don't really like grape flavored things. I'm not. I'm gonna pass on this. No, you should try it. You absolutely have to try it. I hate grape. You have to try it. That's horrible. If you like grape. That's a nice grape sweet. That's better than the grape Jolly Rancher I have. No, I like that one. <laughs> For me, it goes top of the list would be the yuzu, I think. I really like the yuzu, then the pineapple, then the apple. And then the strawberry for me, I think. Then the strawberry, then the orange at the bottom. Orange wasn't very nice at all, was it? Orange. It was like a really bitter orange. Yeah, it just wasn't quite what, what I was expecting. Wanted. And the strawberry wasn't that great either. But that was cool to try. And I definitely really, really liked the pineapple, apple and yuzel. Yuzu. Not yuzel. Yuzels. Well, what should we try next from our little pile of Japanese candies? The most English looking one? Yes. Super lemon. Oh, juicy. It doesn't look Japanese, does it? Oh, noble. Yes, it does. I'm not sure what's going on. There's a headline. What's super lemon candy? Who knows? Let's try some. 
I'm hoping that it actually is really, really sour. I'm not. I don't. Individually want... wrapped. Yes. yes. <laughs> this just means you don't have to do anything else. Oh my god. So this, we're gonna compare these to the lemon heads. I think we had in our last video. What is that? Why is it that colour? Oh yes. I'm really scared. Hmm? I don't do well with sour fit sweets. <laughs> you're really scared because you're just looking at me like, oh my god, it's sour. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! These are amazing. If you've ever had toxic waste, the coating on them is a lot like, I don't want that, it's in your mouth, put it back in. <laughs> oh, you got to eat it. No! It's the rules, you got to eat it. No. Trust me, it gets like less bad in like 20 seconds. Just leave it and just suck all the coating off. Pleasant. That is good candy. No. Oh my god, that was horrendous. We need to give these to people as tricks. <laughs> no, these are mine. I'm eating all of these. No one else is getting these. These are not joke sweets. These are amazing sweets. But yeah, we will. We definitely will. <laughs> They're like, we should keep those. What does it say on it? It doesn't say anything in English. Those kind of sweets are amazing. You can tell they're going to be super sour because they have this very powdery outside. And that's the really sour part. And then on the inside, it's always like this quite nice lemon candy. Yeah, right in the middle. It was just, yeah, it's in the inside, it's a mild, flavorful lemon candy, a bit like a lemon sherbet. But they've got the really sharp stuff on the outside instead of the inside. As soon as I put it in, I was like, this is going to be amazing. Because <laughs> you weren't saying anything and you're just looking at me and that always scares me. <laughs> like, oh God, this is going to be horrible. Should we go to my grape? Mouth explosion. Yes. Um, it's just basically a big grape regurgitating smaller grapes, and there's a pile of grapes, and it, and it's by the same company that made my mushrooms and the yeah. trees. Oh, it's like a candy floss, or a cotton candy, just not very fluffed up. This is what it looks like on the inside. It. Genuinely looks like loft insulation. Just tear a bit off? Yeah, yeah, just tear some off. Oh, there's stuff inside. That's ah. probably the popping candy. It's all inside. Oh my god, this feels a lot like loft insulation. Really? Look at it. It's so <laughs> fluffy. Oh, it is our. Good idea. Which is I weird. again, I really like grape flavored stuff. So for me, that was pretty cool. So I'm gonna give that one like a seven, I think, because I like grape. I like propping candy. I like candy floss. I'm gonna give it a five because I like the candy floss. I just didn't like it. it was quite sour. I don't like grape flavor. You're not very good with sour things. And how did you rate the lemon ones? After we forgot to give them one. Anything? One. I give them a ten because they're amazing and they're perfect and everyone should eat them all the time. Okay. The next thing I've got is basically when we were in the Japan Pavilion in. Disney World in Mis Miskoshi. The Mitsukoshi Department Store at Epcot Pavilion. Which is basically where all this stuff's come from. Um, they had these drinks. What are they called? Do you remember the name of them? Ramune Marble Drinks? Yeah. Apparently they're really popular in Japan. We had them in Epcot while we were there. But they brought out candy. I guess with the same flavours? I don't really know. Because that looks like a toffee apple. And that's, that, that's, that's like a special flavour maybe. Okay, this is me reading Japanese. That's going to be a special flavour toppy apple. Then you can have a blue flavoured one and a lemon flavoured one. But this one's extra special. Yep. I know Japanese Got just for you guys. no idea. So we'll um, we'll see what these are and what they say. So they individually wrapped? Yeah, and the... Do you want one of the special ones? Sure. Unless you want them? No. 
I'm gonna go for the blue one, I think. The blue one? Yeah. So that should be coffee apple. They look very rough on the outside. Like, this is probably gonna cut my mouth a bit, but we'll give it a go. Yours is a bit bigger than mine as well. So mine's a little bit smaller. It tastes like I'm having a drink. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. See, so yeah, the red and yellow one was a bit like a um, rhubarb and custard flavour sweet, but with apple instead. Um, mine, just, really mine just tastes like the drink. Hmm. Yeah? Like them? I'm going to give like those this. a seven. No, an eight. Eight. So mine gets a seven. I, really I like, like apple. It was a nice little sweet. Yeah. Mm. It was an unusual flavour, which is why I really liked to buy it. But I also liked the, the hard candy part a lot more than Jolly Ranchers. Mine was slightly rough on the outside, which is probably why it lost a few points. Because uh, with those kind of sweets especially, you'll find that it'll just cut your mouth to shreds. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, that was good. I enjoyed that one. Well done. Right, so the last set of um, Japanese candies we got for this video... So we will be splitting this in two parts just because we literally bought so much that I don't even think we're going to have time to go for all now. No. Okay, so these things, um, mine just says it's a sweet candy and it got, it's got it got what looks like a marshmallow um, posing provocatively with love hearts. And there's a bunch of them in different flavours. I got some apple ones and this guy, who I don't know what he's doing, but there's a picture of a drink on it and he's washing his hair in it and... Mine also has a bear on it. I really, it. really don't know what these are. Let's give it a go. So, um, I'm hoping they're kind of like Chewits. I think that would be really cool if they were like Japanese Chewits. I'm going for the cool one, the drink flavour. I've got an orange. Very bright. Like a yellowy. Oh, these are totally Japanese Chewits, aren't they? What's that one? It doesn't taste of anything. It's just a really weird consistency again. Japan saw your consistency. Okay. I've just seen on the back that it's described as a stick soda. Oh, this one's blue and white. Overly chewy. But not in a way. It's like a rubbery texture. Is it gum? I hope not. I swallowed it. You can swallow gum. My teeth. It, My poor teeth. It feels kind of like the consistency of bubbly, but it doesn't disappear like bubble gum does. Yeah. Very odd, but I really like the flavour of that. It's hard to describe, actually. What does it taste like? It tastes... Blue raspberry. Hmm. Oh, this one's got stuff in it as well. The orange one didn't, I don't think. No. It's got a little pirate on the wrapper. You probably can't see that. But it's so weird. It's like a... It just goes against everything that you expect it's like, from it. It's like a mix between a gummy and gum. Like yeah. Gum. So yeah, for me, the order of these would go crazy drink flavour that we don't really know what it is. And then the muscat flavour. And then the orange flavour, I think, for me. I think orange is my favourite. I'm going to give those an eight. They would be higher for flavour, but they've just got a weird consistency that I guess I'm just not used to. And I think I was expecting something I'm going to go else. for a seven. Seven? I'm a bit weird. Okay. But overall, like, I think my favourite was the chocolate trees. I've now eaten all of them. Then I think it was the, like, drink sweets. And then the lychee. And that's like... The good ones to me, and the rest of them I kind of feel I ate because I was doing this, not yeah. because I would have wanted to eat them anymore. Easily, my favourite, lemon ones. No? Mm. No reaction? What's, why is your face not... No. Because <laughs> <laughs> I um, there's these sweets that you can get in the UK called Toxic Waste. They come in a little yellow barrel, and they're the same concept. And I used to just eat loads of those, so I'm like super used to sweets like that. So yeah, thanks for watching us try some cool Japanese candy. Mm -hmm. Plenty more to try next time. We just physically cannot at the moment. No more sugar. Thank you. Bye.